Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be looking at Photoshop Elements and how to recolor, lighten, or darken your hair. Uh, give it a different tint, see what it looks like. Now I have this photo here from the Code Poet that I've borrowed from Flickr using the Creative Commons license and you see this girl and we have lightened her hair. I'm going to go to the Layers palette and I'm going to turn off the layer and show you the original color hair. Then I'm going to show you how to do the technique. Now how this technique works is we're going to go down and we are going to create a new layer using the dog ear icon that I like to call it and create a transparent layer above our picture. The next thing that we need to do is we need to pick 50% gray in our palette. How do we know it's 50% gray? Well the easiest way is to go to the Windows palette if you don't see your color swatches and select color swatches. They should appear at the bottom right hand corner. Now what's going to happen is you have an eyedropper tool and when you hover over these it gives you the colors. This last one that I have right here is actually 50% gray so when I click on it it adds 50% gray to my foreground palette. Alright, let's grab a brush now. There's the brush tool right here. You can select B if you want to. And we're going to paint on everywhere that we want to lighten or tint or change your hair color. Now, if the brush is a little bit too big or a little bit too small, we can use the left and right brackets. It is the same keyboard shortcut on Windows and Mac, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And all we're going to do is we're going to start painting. Now, take a little bit more time here. You can also just do lightning streaks if you want to. Just kind of um, put little streaks like they do to highlights. So I'm going to try that one and we're just going to color where we want to change. Now of course you can take more time, you can make the brushes smaller here, uh, do a better job covering her hair where you want to change it. Now I didn't do a very good job this time. Now we have her hair color right here. And now is the simple part. We go over to enhance and we select adjust color and we are going to adjust the hue and saturation here. Now, there is a box on the right, bottom right corner that says Colorize. We do want to check that box right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the hue until we kind of get it the color that we want it. So if we wanted it more of a blonde color or a brown color there, I know this doesn't look good yet, but the more of a blonde color and then maybe the saturation a little bit more yellow or a, bit, a little bit less yellow there can do that. And then of course we have the lightness and darkness. We want a little bit lighter, more a platinum blonde. Now, when we're about happy with what we want, we can select OK and we have her hair. Doesn't that look great? Now obviously it doesn't. So now we need to change the blending mode. So we go to the top, making sure our layer is selected, and select the down arrow. And we're going to choose soft light. And there we go. Her hair has now changed from the darker color to a lighter color. And all we've done is we've added this layer, painted on with 50% gray, we went to enhance, color, adjust hue and saturation, and then when we were happy approximately with the color that we had, we went over into the soft light option for the blending option, and there you have it. Now of course, do a little better job than I did by painting all the right areas make the brush a little bit smaller, get the little pieces here. If you wanted to, you could go in there and you could actually change her eyebrow color as well. So hopefully you like that one. That's another way of changing hair color using Photoshop Elements. Please subscribe. Take care. This is Chucky. Bye.